Hello everyone, Rich here, back for part 7 and the final part of this RMS Empress of Ireland tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the lifeboats, handrails, um, and a few other bits. I can't really, really remember what else there is to do, but there's not a lot to do, so basically lifeboats, handrails, and some other brown bits, some trim. Uh, and that's it really, so what we're going to do, we're going to add the... Uh, Actually, there's a fair cut of details need to add either side of the funnels first. So that's one thing I've got written down here. And it's a couple of mechs, which is basically, uh, well, basically black things, you know, if, if you're familiar with what I'm on about. Uh, either side of the funnel. So if we go down to the funnel, roughly the centre block of the, of the side. So the centre block there, we go one, two out. And we add one to the side. We add three. And then three there. And then three across. It's basically uh, a pulley or winch for lifeboats and... Um, cables for cranes and things like that. So you got one that side of the funnel, we do the same the other side, so we go out so yeah, how many how many was it? Is it two, three? I can't remember. It was one, two, two blocks uh, or second block out rather. So middle block, one out, one in, we go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three like that. So that's the two mechs on the front on the first funnel. And we go over to the second funnel and I don't think we really need them there. I do have them on the prototype. I can't remember where they go. Uh, I can just see them in the distance. They go behind the funnel. So uh, if we go from the uh, on the second funnel, you got these vents either side of the second funnel. So if we leave a single block gap behind, we just add the three across, three across, and then the three across the top, like so. So that's right behind the uh, vent, like so. So I do the same on the other side. We go uh, one block gap, one, two, three. One, two, three, and then three along the top, like so. Here we are. There's our four mechs added. And I call them mechs because I don't actually know what they're called, but, you know, that's that. Uh, so that is the those little jobs done. So what we're going to do now is to begin <coughs> the lifeboat. And I'm going to work on the right-hand side. So if we go up to the bridge wings, um, up to the right-hand side, on the, on the back of the bridge wings here, we're going to leave a six-block gap from the back wall. So the back wall of the bridge wings is here. And we're going to leave a six-block gap. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh block, over the side, we build one, two, three, four down, the side like so. And then four up. One, two, three, four. Up like so. That's the first davit. And then we get our quartz stairs, because we're going to need those. Uh, quartz stairs. And then on the top of that we add stairs, and then upside down stairs, and then stairs, like so. And then two blocks, one, two, like so. And that, or one block really, I think would be enough. And uh, it's up to you if you want one or two, but uh, that's the first uh, lifeboat davit. And you can have it pointing any way really, so I've got it pointing inwards towards the, towards the superstructure, but you can have it turned so it's facing inwards or facing outwards, depending on what uh, position the ship is in, sort of distress if you like. So if you need to launch the lifeboats, you have them facing outwards. And uh, if, a ship, if a ship isn't sinking, then you have them facing inwards. So it's up to you how you want them done. Bear with me, I've just got a cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, right back again, sorry about that. Anyway, that's our first davit done. And what we're going to do now is leave a 14... Is it 14? Yeah, 14 block gap. And then we add the next one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's a 14 gap. And then on the 15th block, we do the same again. So 4 down. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then our stairs. Upside down stairs. Stairs. And then a block. Like so. So that's our first pair of lifeboat davits. And then between... The two there, we put our lifeboat. Now the lifeboat is sort of my standard design, so I shall try and do this as quickly as I can. So the lifeboat itself is 14 long. So <clears throat> if we go to the first davit, we go uh, one, two, third block in, and then one block back. No, two blocks back. Sorry, and we leave. We put a keel, which is 12 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like so. So that's the keel of our boat. And then we want two, and then one and then two and then one like so, so that's our middle of the boat and at the bottom we go uh, from this from this block here we add a line of blocks down the side uh, roughly 12 long, same the other side roughly 12 long or is 12 long rather like so and then from the top block here we build out two and then two and at the back we or the front whichever way we go two and then two out and then we join the two sides together or the two ends together along the side like so 
And then we do the same on the other side, we add one and then two out. Um, one, now on one and then two out. And then we add the side like so. And that's our boat sort of done. And then we can remove blocks we don't need. So that one there, that one there, and there like so. And then the middle block there, and the middle block there, we don't need those. And then underneath we remove corner blocks there and under there. <coughs> and then the same at the front end, corner block there and a corner block there like so. So that is the basic lifeboat. And if you want to make changes like add uh, stairs to make it curvy, you can. So add stairs sort of underneath like so um, and sort of stairs on the end. But it's up to you how you want to do this. It, it, it will sort of hinder the basic design of, of sort of my boat but you can make as many changes as you want to it because remember this is just a rough guide pardon me you don't have to take this as gospel so that's that so what I'm going to do now we need um, wood slabs and I can't remember what they're called on oh, there wood oak wood slab that's what we want so an oak wood slab we line the bottom of the boat like so along the keel like so like that and then we build seats across the middle or go from side to side rather every second block and there we go and finally one there and that's the detailing of the boat if you want to add a cover to the top of the boat you can use slabs for the canvas but I like to some of these boats I like to keep them open so you can see the details I mean it's similar to what I've done with the Queen Mary and a few other ships like that I leave the boats open so you can actually see the insides but if you want to add the canvas over the top then you can all you do you just remove the detailing inside and just fill it up with blocks and then you add say grey carpet over the top but it's, it's up to you if you want to do that design but I just thought I'd leave the boats open makes them look a bit more detailed like so and I think if I fly over to the prototype I think I added the canvas there or did I no I didn't no, as you can see the boats on the prototype are open as well so that's sort of uh, my design there but I think with the uh, ship over there the distance the Britannic I think I did canvas them over I can't actually remember but it doesn't really matter um, anyway that is the first lifeboat done and it should look something like that and if you want to adjust the davits because I think the davits are sort of out of reach so if we extend the davits by one block like so and then the davits can actually reach the center of the boat where the cable <laughs> cables would attach so that's that done there but anyway that's the lifeboat done and the, and the first two uh, davits now there's going to be seven pairs of these davits along the side and seven boats along the side so it's 14 boats in total on the boat deck so it's seven down one side seven down the other side so after the first set of davits and boat like so after the after the previous davit you're going to leave a two block gap so one two and on the third block we build another davit so one two three four down and then one two three four up followed by stairs stairs and stairs and then two blocks one two like so and then once again another 14 blocks a uh, 14 block gap so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and on the 15th block we do the same again so one two three four down one two three four up plus stairs and stairs and stairs and then two blocks and that's our second set of lifeboat davits and then you just carry on the same thing the same distance so every pair you put a two block gap and then between each pair you put uh, or between each, yeah between each pair you put a 14 block gap the lifeboats are 14 blocks long all the way along the side so uh, what I'll do I'll put the next I'll put all the davits in I think so if, if I copy paste no I won't I'll just do them freehand so if I put the, all the davits in uh, I can so two block gap and then uh, uh, that's, saying that's one two three four down one two three four up and then dab it stairs oh, sorry stairs and stairs put the stairs the right way around and then two blocks and then a 14 block gap I measure it with, with welded it 11 12 13 14 15th block we do the same again so one two three four down one two three four up stairs 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 and a block and that is gantry set number three and like I say you need to do it seven times down the side so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy paste actually because it's going to take too long otherwise so I'm going to copy paste each lifeboat and gantry set uh, to a certain degree so I'm going to copy I don't know how to do this actually so if I copy from uh, where do I go? Copy from up here. Copy from there. 
down to the bottom here. So I don't need to copy the deck, I just need to copy the wood block to there. And then we'll copy each section, and so I need to uh, copy from each davit. So I need to go to roughly here. We do copy, and I, I paste the next ones in. So paste the next one in here. So we go paste. So that's lifeboat number two, and the gantry in the way. And then lifeboat number three will be here. Like so. So that's three lifeboats. And then lifeboat number four would be here, so I shall paste hang on, one, two, three I think it goes about there and, yep, that's fine as you can tell, while I'm pasting I've not got the uh, bottom section down below so that's an issue I've got to sort out in a minute but anyway, that's one, two, three, four boats added and then lifeboat number five goes here so lifeboat number five like so and then a bit further along we need lifeboat number six there lifeboat number six goes there and then lastly lifeboat number seven you should have enough room at the end it may be a bit tight but lifeboat number seven goes at the end of the deck and there we go so you do have enough room you should have two blocks at the end after the last davit so there's all seven lifeboats down the side in theory, and what I'll do now, I'll just add the, f the four blocks down, so one, two, three, four down one, two, three, four down one, two, three, four one, two, three, four uh, two, three, four one, two, three, four two, three, four one, two, th two, two, three, four there we are, and the last one, one, two, three, four Three, four. There we are. So that's all the lifeboats in place, and and the uh, davits as well. So that is one side of them done anyway, and it should all look, in theory, it should all look something like that. So all the lifeboats are evenly spread. The, f the boats are 14 blocks long. The gap between each davit is 14 blocks long, and the gap between each pair is two blocks long. So it should look something like that, and you should have two blocks at the end, over uh, at the end of the uh, behind the last uh, davit. So that is what we have there. <coughs> excuse me, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly copy this to the other side so I'll copy from down here up to the uh, other end and I've got to add a few blocks at the end here, so one, two, three copy to that point and I shall stand on the centre of the bridge and it should work per uh, perfectly, so if I stand about here we do copy, flip to the right and then paste, it should all paste in on the right hand side there and there we go, that's fine, that's both uh, sets of lifeboats done on the boat deck and it should all look something like that and it does look pretty good in my opinion anyway so there we are, that's the, the ship almost fully stocked of lifeboats, there's still two more to add on the stern but anyway the boat deck is now full and uh, it does look uh, quite good so when you're walking on the boat deck you have this to look at so you don't no longer have the sea view you've got lifeboats in the way but you know it does look quite good so that's that little job done there so for the last two lifeboats which go on the deck but just in front of the ship's docking bridge you've got the docking bridge at the back here and the lifeboats go just in front of that so we're going to go from the back end of the ship's superstructure you've got this wall here on the side which is sort of uh, one block above the deck so it sort of ends here and it should be one, two, three, four, five. It should be about five blocks long behind the last pillar there. So and it's sort of parallel with the uh, opening of the uh, deck below. So this last wall here, and then you're going to leave a 35 block gap down the side before you add the first davit. So the, li the, the lifeboat will actually sit on the court on the curve of the deck. So this could be a bit confusing to build. So bear with me on this one. But there's a 35 block gap from the back there. So if I just add, so that's 36, so there's a 35 block gap there, and on the 36th block, which is the first, or two blocks away from where the, the deck curves in, we add our first davit, so one, uh, two, three, four down, and then one, one, two, three, four up, plus slabs, slabs, no, st stairs, sorry, stairs, stairs, and stairs, plus two blocks, and then you're going to leave a 12 block gap, so this is a slightly shorter gap between the two, so you leave a 12 block gap, so one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
and on the 13th block we do the same again so 1 2 3 4 down 1 2 3 4 up plus stairs stairs and stairs and plus the two blocks block and block so that's our second gantry uh, davit there and then for the lifeboat itself we're going to go from the back uh, davit here and we're going to leave a th uh, two block gap so one two and on the third block we start building our boat so uh, we add uh, so hang on it's one two three and then one back and then we build our boat which is 12 long so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, twelve for the kill that is so the kill 12 long and then you want uh, two and one it's the same design as before two and one and then we add the boat body down each side and then we go two out two out down the side two out two out down the side and then one and two down the side one and two down the side and then remove the box we don't need the blocks around the back, around the underneath. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go. That's the uh, boat pretty much done. And then for the details or you know canvas top is up to you. And lastly the stairs of course. And there we go. Not the stairs, the slabs. Anyway, that, that's the lifeboat done there. And as you can see, there is a gap, but sort of a because uh, because it's on a curve of the ship, that it's sort of a bit further in than you need it. But you know, it's it's sort of uh, an issue we have with this area. But you know, there's not much we can do. But uh, hey ho, there we go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly copy that to the other side as well. So I shall copy from down here or over here, copy from down there, and then I shall add a couple of blocks across the top. One, two, three. Copy to that point. And then we just stand here on the centre of the ship, of the docking bridge. And then we'll do the same again. So copy, flip, paste. And there we go. That's the lifeboat on the other side. And it should look something like that. In theory, anyway. And, uh, yeah, it's the ship fully equipped now with lifeboats. And then we can leave it at that. So that's pretty much all the detailing, or all the major detailing done. Um, and all we need to do now is just add the handrails and things. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a quick jump cut because uh, the game is lagging a bit and uh, I shall come back and we shall finish off. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So we're at the back of the ship now and what we're going to do is just add the detailing, handrails and brown trim basically. So we're going to get our handrails which are of course iron bars and then we want brown carpet as well. Brown carpet is always good for hiding shit stains and it's also very good for detailing uh, ship trim. So we're going to use iron bars to uh, basically put handrails around the ship. So we're going to start on the lower section of the sh of the open promenade down the bottom here. So the open promenade down here, and where the black ends on the uh, open promenade here. So you've got the black uh, sort of section ends and drops a block. So we'll start from this block here underneath this pillar, and we're just going to add handrails all the way along and around to the back. And it's the same process on the other side. So it's just my usual thing, I usually start ranting at this point, but uh, hey, here, there we go. So we're just going to add handrails and uh, trim out the ship. And the handrails go right around the edge, right around to the centre of the stern. There we go. And we do the same around the other side as well, so it's all the wonderful bits and bobs. And you can remove the red blocks as well, you can replace them with white. As you can see, they're just the centre blocks, you can remove them because, of course, they're no longer needed. They're just um, reference points, so like I say, you can remove them if you want to. But I'm just going to carry on with these handrails for now, all the way up to the other end, all the, all the way up to the end of the deck anyway. And there we go. That's the handrails added on that deck. Should look something like that. And what we're going to do now, do the next deck above, where the uh, two small lifeboats are, or two smaller lifeboats, and we're going to add the handrails there, all the way around to the centre. And uh, I think we can start our ranting. And before I do my ranting, I'm just going to uh, let you know that uh, Ocean Liner Lover is uh, going to start doing his tutorials. He's going to take sort of the pressure off me for like I did mention this before. Um, he's not started just yet because of uh, family issues, but he's uh, taking on some of the the workload that I've got. Uh, the SS Norway, which has always been requested 
uh, for me to build but uh, Mr Ocean Liner Lover is uh, preparing to do the SS Norway whether it be using my SS France or a new design I'm not sure but uh, I think I think a new design probably would be better but it's up to uh, the man himself what he wants to do um, but he's also got uh, I think his main priority at the moment is the HMHS Mauritania so that's uh, a thing for him to do I think that's his first project he's going to do so and um, that's that and maybe what else was it he's going to do I can't remember um, I can't remember there was some other ones he, he did mention but I can't remember what they were I think maybe the Queen Mary in her World War One uh, Second World War colour scheme the, the grey but uh I have to look on that one. I'm not really sure uh, what that one is, uh, what the, his next project is, but I'm, I'm sure he'll tell me anyway. Um, anyway, that's the, uh, the the handrails that added on the stern. So what we're going to do now is go to the front end of uh, of the boat deck, and we're going to add some more handrails. And it's going to work out uh, what else he mentioned. So we're going to add handrails between um, the bridge wings and the first gantry davit. And I'm just going to work out: did I add uh, handrails all the way along the side? I'm just going to pop over to the prototype and no I didn't add any handrails along the side so I'm going to leave uh, the boat deck basically for handrails or, or, or between the lifeboats anyway so I'll add handrails from the first or from the um, bridge wings down to the first davit and that'll be that and then we go down to the back end again of the um, of the boat deck from the last davit and we just add handrails across the back here like so and that'll be fine there um yeah just, just trying to work out or remember what uh mr ocean liner lover said about uh, his next project so i don't have to i'll ask him on that one because i know it's the hmhs mauritania for the first world war hospital ship um i can't really remember what else there was but hey here there we go but anyway added the handrails there uh so then we go down to uh the, the first promenade underneath the boat deck and we're going to go along to where the promenade deck drops a block. So you can see the deck itself doesn't drop, but to the wall does. So you've got a wall underneath the pillars up to a certain point, and then the wall disappears, and you've just got pillars. So we're just going to add handrails between the pillars here at deck level, and these go all the way along uh, the boat deck here. Um, and then we'll see like that. And... Uh, it should all look fine. I'm trying to think what else I've got to mention. I did sort of ponder uh, the, the the dazzle colour scheme for RMS Olympic. I will have a try at that again. I, mean, I know I, I tried it a few years ago and I failed miserably, but I'm going to have another stab at it soon, and uh, we'll see how I get on. So, like I say, I'm just going to add the see add, add the handrails across the back, and then <clears throat> up the other side of this open promenade, and. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a stab at the uh, the dazzle color scheme. Whether I can actually achieve it or not, I don't know. But if I can get some proper side by side view or sides of the uh, the ship, I know there are deck plans with the dazzle color scheme added. So if I can sort of convert, well not convert them, but uh, scale them down so that I can get them to go pixel by pixel of every uh, part of the dazzle color scheme, I will give it a try. But uh, I can't promise anything. But like I say, I will try, and we'll see how things go. But anyway, that's the handrails added along that section there. And uh, I'm trying to think what else there is. Oh, the, the top deck we've done, and the bottom deck down here we don't need to do because there's no handrails needed because we've got a wall all the way around. So what we're going to do now is get our brown carpet, which of course is always handy to hide dog shit and other shit stains on the carpet. We're going <laughs> to go from the side of the bridge wheelhouse, and we're going to add the brown trim along the top of the bridge wings. Like so, and of course the other side as well. It's just a, it's an optional thing. This is, but I know a lot of ships at the time did have a sort of a wood top to the uh, bridge wings and other trim, uh, other detailing, like so. So that's that one there, and then we'll go from the centre of the deck below. So centre of the deck below along the wall, and add the uh, brown carpet along the side, and then between the pillars as well, all the way along the well, not all the way along the side, but up to the handrails on this. Uh, open deck. So along the side here, and then up, like I say, up to the up to the uh, handrails there, and I do the same the other side. Had a huge lag spike there, which is annoying, but never mind. And just add our brown trim 
I'll try and do it from the inside and I've just fallen off. If I go to the inside it'll be a bit easier, so there we go. So just add the trim on the inside up to the handrails there. And then get out again. Um and then lastly it's the next deck down. So we go from the centre of the last deck down below here, so the, the deck uh or the bottom open promenade deck. So add the trim along the back here and then we go on the inside, or not the inside, we go between the pillars on the side all the way down to the end so it should go all the way around or at least down to the end of the uh, end of the pillars on this deck so it should all look fine when it's all done and I have not, I've not had a rant yet because I usually do have a good old moan at this sort of thing um, as I did say to the lollipop lady this morning it's good to have a moan even though I'm usually on my own when I moan, but not that sort of way though, but you know, complaining that sort of moan, you know, moaning about things in general is always good. So anyway, there's the uh, the trim added on the side there, so like I said, do the same on the other side. And that will be it, I think. So what should I moan about today? I don't really think there is much to moan about, apart from, you know, YouTube being tight as greedy as usual. I mean... I think things are starting to pick up a bit for me again, so I may we'll go we'll go into 2019 with uh, videos. I think you know, we won't just stop the channel here and there, or right now, or at the end of this. I think I, I will carry on into 2019 and see how things pan out, because um, there are a lot of ships that people want me to build, and uh, I shall try and uh, move into other areas as well. I mean, ships can only go so far. Um, I know Minecraft is not as popular as it used to be, but we can if I can uh, sort of move into other builds I mean I did try to build a Formula One car I mean I did want to build the Williams FW19 a couple of months ago but I never got around to really doing it so um, that's that but anyway that's the trim added there and uh, it should all look nice and neat there I think that is pretty much it for detailing wise but if you want to add more trim along the sides you can and along the details say top of the uh, brake water and cargo hatches and things but it's up to you if you want to do all that detailing it's not essential but you know it's optional but anyway that is it for the Empress of Ireland um, and she looks mighty fine so we've got two other things now we've got two Empress of Ireland like we've got two of everything on this channel although we do have about eight Titanic style ships over there which <laughs> is another thing anyway that, that ship over there as well that one that was the uh, Andrea Doria but that's actually been scrapped so that's just a dead hole now the actual An Andrea Doria is over in the distance so that's uh, that's now just a, a redundant hull so the actual Andrea Doria with a new hull is over in the distance so I'm going to finish that off and that will probably be the next tutorial after this one depending on what uh, other things I can do um, and that will probably be the last one of this year I'm not guaranteed I will do that one but it'll probably be the last one for 2018 but we'll see, depending on if, if I get it finished in time. Uh, so that's that. But uh, that's it for Empress of Ireland. And, you know, thanks for, well, I don't say you know, but uh, thanks for watching and subscribing and commenting and, and watching this and taking inspiration if you have. Um, it's always uh, a great help for to see people uh, being influenced by this sort of thing. Um, as before, if you're going to be using this as a downloadable project or a video on YouTube or things like that, and don't forget to leave credit for the design, that's all I ask. I'm not asking for money or anything like that. Just a bit of credit for the design. It does keep me going, and uh, it's motivation and things like that. Um, and that's pretty much all I've got to say. So that's Empress of Ireland. Like I say, Andrea Doria should be the next tutorial, because that's just a re uh, it will be a, a complete redesign of my previous one, which I'd done in 2014, I think, which was the same as this thing you know or the same as my original Empress of Ireland it was just a sort of a, a an uninspirational slab with a point at one end so it's a complete redesign and uh, things should be a lot better but anyway that is it for today and I'm just going to keep waffling on for a bit and like I said I will try and try uh, and do the, the or at least attempt the dazzle colour scheme on RMS Olympic it will be interesting to see if I can pull it off because it is quite a striking livery but it's something I'm going to have to sort of dig down and uh, sort of uh, have a proper go at it but we'll see if I can, if I can do it or at least attempt at it anyway but uh, anyway that's it for me so this is Rich signing off logging off disappearing as always thanks for watching and I will see you all soon so uh, 
Bye for now.